there, welcome back to the Big Ski Family. Fall has come to beautiful Bend, Oregon. I'll tell you what, this week I've just been rejoicing looking back at what happened last weekend. Uh, we had our seventh annual Academy Man Camp. And it's just an opportunity to get men outdoors in God's creation, away from the busyness of their work, their lives, their marriages, their family, their friends, social media, online work, you name it, and get into a place where they can get quiet, where they can do thinking, where they can think about their thinking. In fact, our theme this year was, what do you say when you talk to yourself? It's been proven that a man thinks anywhere from 20,000 to 80,000 thoughts a day. It goes for women too. We think literally tens of thousands of thoughts a day. And the question then becomes, what percentage of those thoughts are actually according to God's word, according to truth, according to who he says we are, that are correct about our identity, that correct, are affirming how amazing we are, what he created us for. And it just, it's amazing, because statistically 77 to 80% of what we think about is actually been proven to be negative. It's so crazy to think about just what I said. We think 20 to 80,000 words a day, thoughts a day, and 77 to 80% are negative. And what's even more interesting to me is I think about brain science and how our minds are renewed. Scripture says, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by renewing your mind. 85% of those thoughts that we think, and the words, uh, thoughts that we think in a day are repetitive, meaning we're literally re engaging all those same, same uh, neurons and synapses in our brain and digging a deeper and deeper groove in our brain with what we're thinking. And the ability to take every thought captive, as it says in scripture, and renew our minds according to truth, and not just truth, but Philippians 4, 8 truth that says, don't stop at true whatsoever things are true and honest and just and pure and lovely. If there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things like build a groove in your brain around that use the science of our brain the neuroplasticities uh, functions and features of our amazing brains that we've been given to think according to truth think according to life giving truth so that was really the lens through which we got together this weekend and men came from iowa and from wisconsin and from washington and california and oregon all ages and stages of life, but they had one common goal, and that is to grow as men, grow in their faith, grow in their marriage if they're married, grow in being prepared for marriage if they're not married, grow as a father, as a husband, grow as a leader, grow in the way that they think about themselves physically, mentally, spiritually, and grow in their unique abilities and God-given gifts so that they can go earn, serve, and minister in powerful ways and be effective men in today's uh, the world is crying out today for men who are willing to be this kind of guy, a guy who thinks right and who acts right and, and who lives according to God's power. And we spent a whole session looking at some of the myths of scripture that have been put on Christians in particular and Christian men and exposing some of those things and instead reveling and, and just rejoicing in the truth of God's word on who we are and what Christ has done and the power that we have. It's unbelievable, so refreshing. And again, just some re really, really fun times with these men. And yes, we do it, we're physical, we get outdoors, we're doing exercises, we're doing an obstacle course, we do a 5K, you know, we get involved in some polar dipping because it just wouldn't be a man camp for me if there wasn't a little bit of icy cold water as part of the adventure. But I'm telling you what, more than anything, it was awesome for me to see some of the men at the end when they shared their testimonies, just sharing the impact that getting away, spending time with other men, men who wanted to grow, there's some really amazing guys there, and just hearing their own thoughts and the things they're learning and the, the wisdom they shared in the little breakouts, and one by one is hearing them talk about how they understood maybe a little bigger glimpse of who God is and the vision and goals and dreams that he's laid on their heart, um, how motivated they were to go live those out. And to me, that just fires me up because when I see a man on fire, when I see a man who's got a big vision, scripture says so clearly, without vision, people perish. It's true for men, it's true for women, it's true for children. 
But man, when a man gets a vision and he starts to see, hey, this is what God can do in my life and he wants to do great things in my life and, he wants to, and he's already done great things on my behalf and I get to walk in those things and I get to start thinking with my mind and renewing my mind, rewiring my brain, literally undoing the brain damage of the past to become this, again, living, uh, excited, vibrant, healthy, vivacious man in, in marketplace, in ministry, whatever the Lord's called you to. So again, it was just refreshing at every level. Can't wait, actually. I'm just so excited for Man Camp 2020, the Academy 2020. We're gonna be uh, getting together again. Stay tuned for dates and times and registration, pre-registration, all that kind of stuff. I really wanna see the Lord 10X this effort going forward just because of the impact uh, that I've seen in just even the short bit that we've been doing this. So our eighth annual will be next year, God willing. And again, if there's someone that might be interested in something like this, feel free to share this YouTube video with them. And uh, so you help spread the news as an ambassador or DM me or direct message, email, text, whatever, and let me know, hey Chad, put me on the list so that when we go to uh, send out those invites and information about the next one, you won't miss it. Anyways, God bless you, and if you're a man, I, cap I challenge you today, make sure you're thinking according to truth, that those 80,000 thoughts that you're thinking throughout your day are ministering to you, they're building you up, they're affirming you, they're, they're transforming you into the man that God created you to be.
Thanks so much for following along, Big Ski Family. This fall color, the leaves on fire around me that you see here, I'll tell you what, it's, uh, it's happening, man. Winter's coming our way, and I'm getting in shape for skiing. I hope you're ready for the adventures that lie around the corner for you. Have a great one. Yes, yes.